she was playing overseas and then they stopped they i don't know if they reprimanded or not reprimanded like apprehended her at the airport trying to come back i thought she was doing like a camp or something or something like that i don't, I don't know but yeah no it, it looks like she's playing over in russia but they are keeping her there though it's yeah. not like it's not like she's just there playing basketball by choice no, no, she. I think she was playing basketball, but then obviously now they're keeping her. Yeah, they're keeping her there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Which, which is comparatively, when Leangelo Ball got caught up in China, right for for stealing them belts or whatever, it was a real weird time because the person who was supposed to be negotiating a release was was a maniac. And so you 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 kind of you obviously called for him to do what he was supposed to do and, and negotiate getting him back home. I mean, forgot fuck sake, it's a fucking ten dollar belt. Like mm-hmm. it, it's it's a testament to his family main that this is even an issue, right? He probably wouldn't even have been arrested if, if not for that. Yeah. Um. But there were other people doing it. And... Right. Right. Well, they all got they all got detained. It was like three of them. Yeah. But my, my point is, is that that matter was resolved in a matter of like a few days mm-hmm. type of shit. Now, there is a there is a, a a obviously a very glaring difference as to what's going on in Russia right now, as opposed to the China situation. But the it, it, at very least, there was, you know, a mention, you know, it was national news. It was talked about yeah. constantly until he made it home, like. What 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 is what's going on with Britney Griner? Yeah, no nobody seems to be really picking up this Britney Griner story, which is absolutely nuts. And it's been happening for way longer. It's, it's yeah, been like, like fifteen like days now. They're keeping her there against her will, an American citizen, over a, a, a vape cartridge. I, I I don't understand it. Like the only the only thing that I can think of, and, and you know what, it can't even be that because she is a WNBA star. Yeah, like. I can see if she was just like a, a WNBA player that pretty much it would be bad enough if it was an ordinary citizen and they were having trouble getting back, getting the U.S. government's help getting back over here. Yeah. But but now you have this high profile character that a lot of people are speaking about, mm-hmm. except for it's not happening at the levels that we would like to see it. Yeah. Right. And 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 I I'll, I'll you know I'll. I'll I won't say. I guess I won't say too much on on, on black media on this one because honestly, it's the only place where I've heard people talking about it. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like you know it, it definitely is a little bit more of our responsibility to keep the pressure on, you know, other networks and other outlets to cover this and to get louder about it because it, it it's it's a conflict. Do you think if Diana Taurasi was over in overseas being held against her will in Russia, that this would be such a a, a mum topic? No, you believe if if if, if damn, man, I'm trying to think of another white woman hooper, Sue Bird. That's hard. Okay, there we go, Sue Bird. You think if Sue Bird was stuck in 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 enemy territory, we'd be so docile about the whole situation? No, but you. So you think it's because she's a black woman they're not making this national news? I think because she's a black gay woman. Okay, it's not in the consciousness of their largest audiences. So mm-hmm. it doesn't really benefit them to focus on it too long. And that's the reality of the situation. That's crazy. It doesn't, it doesn't stay in the consciousness of the people that they're trying to attract or market to. So it's easy to dismiss. That's bullshit. much like a lot of the things that we worry about over here, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. And that, that's just the reality. Yeah, no, I mean, to, to that effect, you're absolutely right. I do believe that, if nobody else is going to talk about it, we got to talk about it as, as you know, black media personnel, just because this black is a serious personnel. I need a name tag. This is I mean, I didn't mean personnel. us specifically. I just meant people I, as a whole. I need a keychain. That, that is says crazy. black media personnel. That is nuts. Maybe maybe we'll get that for you. All right. That is hard. When we start doing merch. I'm mean, got to make that a T-shirt. <laughs> black media personnel. personnel. B- so. BMP, BMP. Um, yeah, but no, nah, we we we. It's up to us to yeah. to to get this out there because nobody else will. And for whatever reason, I I still don't understand. 
it's it, dog is at the very least it's Russia. I just don't understand how it's not national news because it's pertaining to Russia. It, it seems to me that Russia is trying to pull a, a power move in this situation. I would think like we got one of yours mm-hmm. work with us. And so, off the strength of that alone, I would think that this would be national news. Something that requires Something. a response. Something. I mean, it's a lot of shit going on right now that the White House is kind of remaining mum on. Especially this White House. Yeah. You would think that they would have mm-hmm. a little bit more to say about a, a black gay woman being over in Russia during this time. I mean, cut them some slack, man. They got, you know, 81 people getting murdered in Saudi Arabia, and that's an ally. Journalists, mm. reporters, you know, normal citizens slaughtered 81 people by a U.S. ally at the same time that we're fighting war and oppression in the, the soul of Ukraine. Yeah, no, nah, priorities are, are, are all not over there. the board, all over the board, bro. All of this shit is coming apart, man, and it's really crazy to see. Like it, it, it the, the quote unquote institutions of America are like, they're they're crumbling. They are because there there's no there's no more culpability. There's no more honesty. You can't trust the institutions to work the way that they were intended to work, or they are working the way that they intended to work, and nobody seems to understand what the purpose really was. It's just it's fucked. All of this is fucked. We don't we don't speak honestly anymore. We don't address issues honestly anymore. The only acceptable way of communication is total capitulation or total deference to someone else's opinion or 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 thought, whether it has any basis in fact or not. Like we are literally devolving into that that fucking book that all the conservatives talk about. 1984. There you go. Yes. Literally, they talk about that shit all the time. They're gonna start telling you just to 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 not believe your 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 lying eyes. Don't trust your senses. But fam, like y'all, they say that shit all the fucking time. You be like, oh, they're crazy. They're misinterpreting the book. And then you tell me to look and tell me to say that the sky's not blue. <laughs> it's like, okay, this shit right. is crazy. It is nuts. Everything involving this, and they need to go ahead and free her and bring her home, man. Any other thoughts? Yeah, man. Free BG. 1,000%. Free BG. Bring her home. Give us your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know what you think. And make sure to subscribe. We like to talk about black injustice quite a bit. We like to talk about sports. So this is right up our alley. So make sure you subscribe for more.